Right then guys, how's it going? It's JT Judgment here and welcome back guys to another FIFA 16 Legend Review in Ultimate Team and today guys we're going to be taking a look at the 89 rated Spanish defender Fernando Hierro but before I get into this guys I want to apologise for the lack of content from myself over the past couple of days you may be able to still tell it in my voice guys I, I haven't been feeling 100% I've been stuck in bed and I just haven't wanted to touch FIFA at all guys so apologies there that is the reason for the lack of content from myself over the past week or so also guys i want to give a massive shout out to the boy that was nice enough to let me use his account to do this review link will be in the description guys taking you to his account if you check him out said a massive thank you from me and yourselves that would be insane also in the description you will find a link to cdkeys.com if you guys are looking to buy some xbox codes playstation codes some cheap games check them out guys i highly recommend it they got some of the best prices around i can guarantee you so stat wise with the legend fernando here when you buy this center back card you are getting 70 pace 72 dribbling 67 shooting 70 passing 89 defending and 83 physical when you look at his in-game stats guys he brings 91 interceptions as well as 91 jumping 88 strength 84 reactions 92 head and accuracy 88 long pass 88 slide tackle uh, and 89 marking some of the best in-game stats there guys so when it comes to stats guys for an 89 rated center back or just a center back in general he does have very very reliable locking stats now when it comes to performance in game I gotta say Fernando Hierro right off the bat he was very reliable for me and easily one of the best center backs that I have used so far in FIFA 16 ultimate team and I'm so glad to be able to say that guys because I've said it on numerous occasions in the past whenever I use a legend it doesn't matter if it's the best it doesn't matter if it's the worst it doesn't matter what position that legend plays in I want them to be one of the best players that I use throughout the entire year you know because in my personal opinion legends are this special cards in the game you know when any special card in the game should be one of the best cards in the game you know and there have been numerous players or legends i should say uh, that i've used so far that i have not liked completely hated in the game but then again there have been a handful that i have thoroughly enjoyed uh, using for those of you that are a fan of my reviews and you've seen them all or have seen a couple you will know which ones i like and which ones i don't like and like i said thankfully fernando hierro is one of the legends uh, that i liked for me he performed really really well in game but as good as he was for me guys i did find a couple of weaknesses that did set him back a slight little bit uh, but the same as Luron Blanc guys pretty much the only weaknesses that I found with him are weaknesses that don't necessarily matter that much in a center back you know now if they were weaknesses in an attacker then they would matter a lot more but seeing as they're a center back they don't really matter as much you know those being weak foot shooting and dribbling and ball control now shooting pretty much no matter who you use i think guys the shooting is not going to be the greatest with the center back i wanted to include it because with every player review that i do guys i like to review every single aspect of the player so shooting i gotta go out there and say is not the best with hierro even though last year in FIFA 15 he did manage to score a couple of decent insane long shots for me uh, but unfortunately that wasn't the case this year uh, weak foot wasn't the greatest as well guys the same as Laurent Blanc um, I just noticed he took a few bad touches with his weak foot and he lost the ball from that and that caused me to uh, you know feel his dribbling and ball control wasn't the greatest as, as well you know intercepting the ball was fairly easy with this card but then turning around and trying to you know start an attack by passing to either the midfield or if I wanted to do a long ball over the top to my attack I just felt his dribbling and ball control being really slow really clunky uh, slow to turn on the ball as well uh, which you would probably expect from any center back in the game you know unless they've got like 80 plus dribbling on the card which is a crazy stat to have so other than weak foot shooting and dribbling guys pretty much everything else with Hierro was pretty awesome you know strength wise I had absolutely no problems muscling people off the ball really really easily uh, wasn't a problem his pace was pretty decent as well 70 pace is what you're getting on the card uh, and that's decent pace to have in a center back you know it's not the best but it's definitely not the worst at the same time in game he felt like what 70 pace should feel like and there were times where he felt slightly quicker so that was very very nice to see his passing for me was awesome his positioning for me was insane as well aerial ability is something that i really liked with this card as well he was always challenging goalkeepers from corners which is something that 
I like to see as well. Uh, one of which actually did end up in the back of the net, which was nice to see. And his tackling abilities, just absolutely insane. You know, he was always in the position to catch up to the attackers that I came up against. And he used his amazing strength to easily muscle them off the ball, intercept the ball back to my team, and then just go and score basically it was as easy as that you know that is what I really loved about Fernando Hierro very 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 consistent at doing that for me and like I said I really enjoy using him for those reasons you know so final thoughts like I said guys Fernando Hierro for me turned out to be an absolute beast really really enjoy using him and out of the legend center backs that I have used so far Fernando Hierro is very very close to the top of my list you know he was absolutely insane for me what you get in when you buy Hierro you get in a good center back with strength he's got a lot of strength guys that's something that you can rely on with Hierro he's got very good pace for a center back his passing was insane for me positioning he always was in the position that I needed him to be you know he's got high defensive work rate which is something that you always want to look for in a center back and to have it on a high rated legend center back with the stats that Hierro has is just absolutely fantastic aerial ability is no problem with this card as well and tackling in general again no problems whatsoever so that is going to wrap up my fernando hierro review on fifa 16 ultimate team guys if you did enjoy this video then a like would be greatly greatly appreciated it really really does help the channel out also hit that subscribe button today to be notified when i upload next and as always from me guys please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys